All right, guys. Hope everyone's doing fantastic. I'm back for the 2024 season. This is the season preview here. Tigers open their season in Chicago March 28th, which is this Thursday at 410 Eastern. Uh, Tarek Skubal versus uh, Crochet over there for Chicago. I think his first name is Garrett. Um, I could be wrong on that, though. But regardless, uh, just a little overview here of what, what I'm, my expectations are this year and uh, what I'm thinking the Tigers are going to do, go over their roster a little bit here. And, uh, yeah, so roster-wise, position players wise, we got Jake Rogers, Carson Kelly, Spencer Torkelson, Colt Keith, Javier Baez, Gio Urshela, Parker Meadows, Riley Green, Mark Canna, Kerry Carpenter, Verling, McKinstry, Ibanez to round it out there. And uh, I like this roster a lot. A lot of young people, a lot of young talent here. Uh, a lot of young kids that haven't really proven themselves yet, but. Uh, I think this team's got a lot of potential, and uh, let's, I'm going to just get this out of the way now. My expectations are AL Central. The expectations are to win the AL Central this year. That's the expectation, and uh, anything less is a failure, um, in my opinion. I mean, with the last time we made the playoffs 2014, it's been 10 years. So it's, it's time to get this thing moving here. And uh, with this roster in place, this division, how bad it is. Excuse me. If you don't win the uh, Central this year, very, very disappointing and a failure. And Scott Harris is going to have to answer some questions because there was a guy by the name of J.D. Martinez that was a free agent up until about three or four days ago. And um, the Mets signed him for one year or $12 million. That's dirt cheap. He could help just line up with veteran leadership. But we're going to go with the young guys, which you know, they have a plan. Harris and Hinch have a plan, and they're going to stick to it. That's fine. But the expectation for me is AL Central. Anything less is a failure. I'm not even talking playoff series. You win the San Central, then whatever happens, the playoffs happens. But you've got to get in the playoffs by winning the AL Central. Because if you're fighting for a wild card spot, it's not going to happen. The AL East is stacked. The AL West is going to have some pretty good teams. Astros, Rangers, AL East, everybody's in the mix, really. Everyone, no one's really not in the mix there. So everyone's going to be fighting for a wild card spot there. So uh, Central's your path. And. Uh, the division's terrible, so if you don't win it this year, it's very disappointing and a failure. Um, as, let's go for a little pitching here. Um, the rotation's looking like Flattery, Scooble, Mize, Reese Olsen, and uh, Kenta Maeda. Matt Manning was actually optioned uh, like a week or week and a half ago, uh, which was very surprising. But he'll be he'll be back up for sure, in my opinion. But he was option. He's going to be starting here in AAA, which is kind of a shock. But uh, our rotation to start is going to be, uh, like I just said, Tarek Skubo, Casey Mize, uh, Jack Flaherty, uh, Kenta Maeda, and Reese Olsen. I like that rotation a lot. We need to get six, inning consistent, six innings consistently because you can't – I also like our bullpen, but we can't overtax them and expect them to pitch four innings a game. Like if your starters can get the sixth or seventh, that would be huge, obviously. Doesn't happen as much as it used to, but like six innings is like the minimum. Like you got to hit, maybe not early in the year because they're still getting stretched out a little bit, but as when May rolls around, you got to be starting to get six innings consistently or this bullpen's going to get taxed. As for the bullpen, I really like it. Chafin's back. We got Lang, Foley. Um, we got uh, Fiedo, Brisky, Joey Wentz. No more Cisnero, thank God. I couldn't stand him. He was driving me nuts. And uh, Gregory Soto's gone. And as we, as you saw the other day, he just he still doesn't have it. He, he gave up four runs, I believe, before he recorded an out in spring training games. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a positive. And uh, the key piece to all this, in my opinion, player one player, if I had to choose one, is Javier Baez. He was terrible last year. He's, he's he's still here for four more years. I mean, he's got to get rolling because if he goes, this team's going to go. Obviously, if he doesn't play good uh, for the first month or two, I, they're going to have a decision to make on whether or not they're going to cut him because if he plays like he did last year, I don't, you can't stay with him all year. You just can't. He was terrible. Um, yes, his defense is good, but his bat is just future. It was last year. He needs to... If you could bat 260, hit 15, 20 home or somehow, and drive in like 70, that's a success. I mean, let's just be real. I'm very excited for Torkelson, Green, Carpenter. We got Mark Cannon. 
He's a veteran outfielder. Um, Parker Meadows is very excited. He's in a great spring. Like Verling a lot. Gio Rochelle loved the signing for very cheap. He's a solid third baseman. He's very good against lefties. Very excited to see what this ha what happens here. But uh, season overview here, folks. The roster is very young for sure. But the expectation for me is AL Central. Anything less is a failure. Um, I should, and this division's terrible. So let's just not sugarcoat it. This division's awful. 86, 87 wins could get it done for you this year. And uh, yeah, let's just go. Let's go get it done. Love AJ Hinch. Should love what he's got. Uh, I love Chris Fetter. And uh, the staff is solid. So let's get it done. And uh, it's time. The fans have been waiting a long time. It's been since 2014 is the last time we made the playoffs. It's been 10 years. It's time to make the playoffs again. It's time. Um, very excited. March 28th is the opener in Chicago. Like I said, Scoob on the bump for us. Uh, opened up the 2024 season. And uh, a home opener is April 5th on a Friday against the Oakland A's. I will be there. I'll be at both of those Friday Saturday games, actually. So I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting back and down, down to America. And uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. My first YouTube video in season will be April 8th. I'm not going to do one uh, April 1st because they've only played three games at that point, so I'll just wait until after they play the Mets and then the A's as well. So uh, they'll have uh, nine games under the belt when I do a video. So you guys take care. Appreciate it. Looking forward to the season. Thank you for the support as always. Go Tigers, baby. Catch you guys later. Have a great night.